everybody, Angelica here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to do another Game of Thrones video discussion. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do my makeup and just chill, I guess. I don't know. I'm bored. So I thought I would make the video because it's almost Sunday. It's Sunday tomorrow. The final episode of Game of Thrones comes out. And <laughs> I don't know how ready I am for it. I don't know how ready I am for it. I'm very, 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 very 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 nervous very excited i i get anxiety when i think about it but i just thought we talk about the previous the last two episodes because the last time i did a video i think it was the, i only had watched the first two episodes had come out by then so we still have episode three that was the long night uh episode four the last of the starks and then episode five which i literally oh the bells that's what it's called the bells and we'll just talk about those so I don't know how if I'm gonna really explain it's I'm foundation. It's, I'm gonna kind of fly through the episode three and episode four because I know you've already been talking about that for the last three weeks. Like that's been done, you know what I mean? But I still wanted to put my input and how I felt about the episode and everything. So the long night, I thought it was, I loved it. Like it, the, I've never had a show or a movie or anything make me feel like so intense and like have anxiety be nervous felt like I felt like I was there like I felt like the night walker like I was about to go into battle with them like I was I was like scared for all my favorite characters I was scared for the dragons Daenerys fucking John Arya Sansa Tyr I was all of Winterfell was in my heart that night and the moment the Dothraki's fire started going out and I was like it's game over like it's game fucking over like in my opinion i think the dothraki are the strongest out of all everybody there like out of the unsullied out of just the regular northern out, like out, the, it's the dothraki and it's just like they took them out they took them out in like 2.5 seconds i was i was shook i was shook but then they fucking then it, the, the fact that it was just like at the towards the end of the episode, like when John's like, or when the the Night King like brings up all the dead again, when John tries to fight him, I was like getting so annoyed. I was so angry because I was like, I was literally like at the point where I'm like, what's the fucking point? What's the point of the show? What is the point of the show if you're just gonna kill all of, all of our favorite characters? What's the point of the show if everybody dies and the Night King wins on the crown? What's the point? You tell me we spent ten years, ten whole eight seasons. Everybody's gonna die. That's literally what I was feeling when I was watching that episode. And then Arya came in clutch with the stabber. Killed the Night King. I was screaming. I was screaming when she killed the Night King. I didn't expect it. I really thought it was going to be John. I kind of wanted it to be John. I mean, it was still epic that it was Arya, but like, I wanted, like, John has been known about this since day one. John's been known about the Night King, the White Walkers, the Wildlings. Like, John's been in it. We've seen John in it. How many battles has John, how many battles has been leading up to the ultimate fight between the Night King and John? Like, I was really waiting for that. Like, I, when he was ch running after him, I was like, is this gonna happen? Like, are they gonna have a, like, a, a fucking duel? Like, I wanted to see a Night King and John duel so bad. And it didn't happen, and I was very disappointed, but I w still, the episode was crazy. I cried when Theon died. I cried when fucking Jorah died. I, oh, Jorah, Lady Mormont, complete badass. But that was a really good episode. It was really just super intense. And uh, episode four was okay. It was kind of like a filler episode. I, I really loved a lot that happened in it. I thought it was crazy that Masande died. I thought it was insane, like Cersei on some tough shit. Like, I'm like, damn, Cersei's not... Cersei is... I always, I've always, always, always thought this since, like, season three, honestly. Like, or no, obviously, after she, like, ripped up that paper in Ned's face, ever since that moment, I knew this bitch is a force to be reckoned with and she should not be underestimated she should not be challenged she sh stop fucking with her people keep fucking with her every person who's ever wronged her she's literally died she's literally murdered she's literally killed them found a way that for them to be gone dead not existence she blew up the whole thing the whole scepter all those people she was only mad about only mad at a few of them but she killed that she said fuck all those people they're all dead. They all let me walk around naked. On, oh, I knew she was on some shit. Like Cersei, I like after she cut off Masande's head, she just looks down like, yeah, bitch, 
what are you going to do about it? I was like, Cersei, stop playing games. I was so nervous. I was like, Cersei, what are you doing? But that episode was, like, it wasn't my favorite. Episodes 2, obviously, is my favorite. But, uh... Episode four is okay. Then we get into episode five, the bells that everybody's everybody's talking about right now. The internet's going crazy. The whole Mad Queen, Daenerys going crazy, killing or um, probably killing a lot. I don't know if she killed everybody in King's Landing, but like pretty much all the civilians and innocent people, children, women, men, families, soldiers, no matter who was, like she said, you're dead and you're dead and you're dead and you're dead. Like she didn't give a fuck about anybody, and like. I personally, it, like, it came to me as a shock, and I was like, oh my god, Daenerys, stop. But at the same time, I was like, people are, like, so shocked, like, oh, just came out of nowhere, this is, like, not expected, you rush this. If you watch, like, the at back seasons, like, this is, I mean, this is not out of da Daenerys' character at all. Like, sure, she, like, freed the slaves, and she's, like, you know, the, the, the breaker of chains, and she's a great woman, and she's done, I mean... Obviously, she's not redeemable after what she did last episode. After the bells, after, like, letting Drogon, like, kill... She's not redeemable. There's no coming back from that. She's done. Out. I'm done with her. But I can't... I can't forget all that she's done in Marine. All she's done in all those other places with the Dothraki. Like, she's literally ended slavery in Essos. Like, that whole... Fu done. She did that. You, you can't ignore that. You can't, like, just forget about it. But, like... That doesn't make up for, like, that doesn't outweigh what she's done, what she just did, and what she did was fucking disgusting. It was, she's garbage for that trash. But, no, they've been hitting at, hinting at this. Like, they've been hinting at her becoming the Mad Queen. She's, like, when she killed uh, Sam's fam, uh, dad and brother, when she uh, killed that, uh, beheaded that slave that killed one of the masters, when she, there was a bunch of other stuff that she's done where it's, like, Calm down a little bit. Like, it's yeah, coming off a little, a little feisty. Like, and now I'm just afraid for Tyrion. And I don't know. We'll get into that in that second portion of the video. I'm going to talk about, uh, I got a little script here. All the things that I liked about the uh, episode. I'm going to talk about some of the things that I liked personally in the episode. So, obviously, the battle scenes were great. The, 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 the way they shot it was beautiful. The scenes were great. Like, everything was perfect visually like watching it the dragons the Daenerys fucking firing out the the scorpions like all of that I was like oh, okay like I see HBO and Game of Thrones throwing flex in their budget at us right there but I loved all the like the scenes like all that was great I I loved the the fight with the hound and the mountain like all that was great like I was here for all of that like when it was such a they it was surprise like it was a fight but like they were able to make it like almost like we like sentimental like i almost had like i was like i like i feel something like it was emotional it was like poetic it was like they've been talking like about this happening for so long and his brother was so evil and fucked up and did such horrible things to people and him and the hound the hound's fucking character development like was so great like he became this vengeful like hateful guy to like almost he cares about Arya he I think he loves Arya like he that's he protects her he's there for her he like he genuinely has a connection with her and the same with Sansa like he cares about Sansa he cares about the Stark girls and you can't deny the way that they communicate in that that scene oh my god that scene with Arya and the Hound when they are about to pop up on Cersei and the mountain and he tells her if you stay you'll die and she and and for her to he's like look at me like screaming at her and like he's like look at me this is what this is what revenge has made me this is what vengeance has done to me this is do you want to be like me is this how you want to be is it, if it is like it, he still makes it her choice like he t he's telling her actual like stuff she needs to hear and he, he does make it her choice like you know I'm not telling you you know like don't come with me like don't you know what I mean he's not saying any of that but he's also like he's making it her choice to come with him to not come with him and she ends up deciding like 
thank you. Like I gotta, you're right. It's not worth it. And in th this season, they're really they're doing very well in Arya's character development, like showing her humanity, showing like how how she went from like revenge was all she had like all the, for the last seven seasons it was hatred it was death it was revenge she lived day in and day out with that list repeating it every single day like she went from that to like calling him like she said sandor she said thank you that broke my heart the, the that scene when like she's watched after those that 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 mom and that the, her child die and burn because of fucking daenerys and she cries like she has that single tear fall out of her eye and it literally broke me because i was like i literally i i swear on my life this is the first time that we've seen her cry in the whole show like when her dad died when her mom and brother died when like she like was in fights when she was like there was never a moment when she, she would like broke down where she like let herself like get emotional like that to care like that and in that scene when she's like looking at what Daenerys has just done at these innocent people that she just tried to help and that she lets that tear escape and it's like something's got to come of this like this has to come back up like Arya has to confront Daenerys John has to confront Daenerys like Daenerys just can't get away with like this has to be brought up like Varys was correct Varys was right like I can I like I can't like this has this has to like if they don't bring this back up if they try to like brush this off this scene that Arya is like with that like that has to come up it has to come up John has to bring it up Arya has to bring it up this D Daenerys needs a talking to like you can't just do shit like that bitch what do you think this is this is not like like she she she's coming into Westeros as a conqueror she's coming in as a like a very vicious evil like manipulative I I I she manipulates John like like she manipulates everybody around her in like such subtle ways like making them feel like what she she talks like what she's doing is okay and it's not it's wrong and she doesn't listen to her advisors. She's lost everybody she loves, and she's just lost at the point blank. She's lost. She's lonely. She's sad. She's angry. She's feeling all these emotions, and you can see it in Amelia Clark, you beautiful woman. You can see it in Daenerys's face when she's sitting on that dragon, when those bells are ringing. You can see every single thing that's happened to her jorah's death her father's death having to run her whole life having men all these men try to kill her having her husband killed like all this being forced into a marriage being forced to marry cal drogo like all these things like masande dying like john not loving her anymore losing another love of her life like all these things created what happened and you can't deny any of that you can't deny it was rushed it was like it wasn't it, it it really wasn't they just gave us that gap where like she kind of turned around like john was her saving grace john john is the one person i think could fucking get her out of this rut at out of this mad clean phase out of like what she thinks she has to do john just but he can't he doesn't doesn't that's his awe like he doesn't see her that way anymore they it's not the same as it was and she just she just doesn't understand that and she's just like heartbroken and it she does not take heartbreak well and she is taking john's heartbreak and everything else that's ever happened to her in her whole entire life and she took it out on king's landing she put all the stuff that happened in her whole entire life she said drago let's go and they went <sighs> and killed everybody that's what happened that is exactly what happened can we also just talk about some of the death, besides all the innocent and King Glennings, uh, that happened in this episode, like Cersei dying, <sighs> my boy Jamie, my boy Jamie. Okay, so let's talk about let, let's let's start off with this. Let's start off with uh, Jamie because J Jamie's my boy. I'll say that right now. Uh, I'm the kind of person I love redemption stories. So by the eighth season, Theon and like Jamie were my on uh, one of my top five favorite characters just because like i seen what they went through especially theon it makes me so 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 angry when i watch like reaction videos or like when i watch like or i hear listen to podcasts about like game of thrones and the episodes and stuff like that and how 
people to to this day don't think that the De uh theon redeemed himself that what he did was so fucked up like no no i get he took over king's land or took over winterfell and what he did was super messed up like to the Betraying the Starks. First of all, he's a prisoner, so you can't get that mad at him about that. But betraying the Starks, I was fucked up. I was angry at him. And, like, like killing those two innocent boys, I was angry at him. Chopping off that guy's head off that was, like, a dude that had been forever lived in Winterfell. Like, I was angry about that. Like, him, like, treating Bran like that. I was angry. I was angry at him. I was, I hated him. I hated him when he did that. And, like, when Ramsay first captured him... When Ramsey like was torturing him and all that stuff was happening, I was like, he deserves it at first. At first. It was like, this is justice. This is revenge. This is what you get. But it went from jo justice and it went from justice and it went from revenge to like disgusting, like fucking really, really, really fucked up and really mean and disgusting and horrible and tr trashy. I cannot believe they did my boy Theon like that. I was like... I hated Ramsay. I never ever in all of Game of Thrones hated a character more than I hate Ramsay. There is not one character. I, I liked Littlefinger more than Ramsay. I liked Joffrey more than Ramsay. Like, Ramsay is a disgusting human being and he died the best way he could. But yeah, uh, so, like, yeah, long story short, I love a redemption story. So, uh, Jamie Lannister is one of my favorite characters at this, well, he will always be one of my favorite characters because I love his storyline and I love his him and Brienne's storyline and it is true like Brienne is the reason that a lot of us love Jamie or started to like Jamie because he's a completely different man when he is around Brienne of Tar. Let's be honest, he is a great man. He is noble, he's honorable, he's he's nice. Like it's it's so weird how he's like that with her but when he's with Cersei the, the you know the love of his life the 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 guy he spent his whole life with who he's had three four kids with like this is who he dyed his arms in with and it's so crazy the dynamic of who he is with Cersei and and who he is with Brienne and how Brienne herself has changed who Jamie is as a person and that's to say something about what kind of person Brienne is and what kind of person Jamie was always meant to be. And I know a lot of people think that him running back to Cersei and was him like going back to his old ways and him like, you know, through every like the, that the the cast or the writers threw away his character arc. I I personally at first I kind of I was thinking that, but then like after watching the episode a second time, I realized that it wasn't about it wasn't about good or evil it wasn't about the innocence of king's landing it wasn't about daenerys john it wasn't about anybody like at the end of the day jamie still loved cersei and he never stops loving cersei he would never stop loving cersei and it came down to the point of realization that she is going to die uh the woman the, the woman i've loved since i was a fucking little infant the woman i've been with i've known my whole life my sister my lover at this point He's realized she's going to be gone. She's going to die. I have to at least try to be there. To be there for her last moments. To be there for her. To protect her. To try to help. Like, and I get that. Like, you can't be mad at Jamie for not wanting his sister to die. You can't be mad at Tyrion. Tyrion doesn't even want her to die. And Tyrion hates her more than anybody. It's like, at the end of the day, they're family. And you can't, you can't deny, like what you would do or what extent your loyalties lie at and I don't and it's not that he betrayed anybody because he didn't he fought for the north he did what he he he's an honorable man he did what he promised he just realized like that's that's Cersei is who who uh who I meant to die with and then just the way they died was the most poetic shit I have ever seen in my whole entire life and and I, I realized a lot of people were disappointed about how Cersei died because, like, she was just, like, you know, a manipulative-ass bitch. And nobody liked her at all. So when she died, it was like, that's how you're going to kill her? You're not going to give her a fight scene? You're not going to, like, Arya isn't going to, like, come in with a jab or something? Like, you're not going to you're not gonna give us nothing? You're going to give us rocks falling on Cersei? But at, the, at first, that is exactly what I was thinking. I was like... So they're just going to do Cersei like that? Like, what? 
why are they doing Cersei like that? Like, why? But then, after, like, like I said, after, like, realizing, it wasn't that I wanted, and this is what I heard from a podcast, and this woman, it's a coffee clutch on on podcasts, you type that in, type Game of Thrones podcast, it's like a little green thing. Uh, they were talking about Game of Thrones on their podcast, and I love listening to it, and uh, the girl on there, she was talking about how as she watched the episode, she realized it wasn't that she wanted Cersei, she, want, she didn't want to see Cersei, it wasn't that she wanted to see Cersei die, it was that she wanted to see Cersei broken. And I was like, literally, that is exactly how I felt. Like, And that is exactly what happened. Like, she was... In the first time in like a long time she showed her true emotions like she's kept a straight ass face no matter what you want to say about Cersei she's a hard bitch and she kept her face straight the whole time but the moment she sees Jamie she breaks down she lets it all all 10 years of what she's been holding in her chest she lets it all out right there and I was here for it. I almost started crying for her. And they did that scene so fucking good. The actors, the, the uh, Nick and uh, Le Leanna, Lena, or whatever her name is, like, they did great in that scene. And when they died, like, it was, it, I, I honestly would not want it to see any other way. That was the best way they could have done it, in my opinion, because none of us were expecting that none of us were thinking that's how they're gonna die like everybody was thinking like oh jamie's gonna kill cersei like Arya's gonna kill cersei daenerys is gonna kill cersei drogon's gonna kill cersei like but no like karma karma killed cersei like pretty much like faith killed cersei like literally karma she died in the in the same like same spot like as she did all this fucked up stuff it's just like and the music that she that played while she died too, that music she played when she blew up the that that scepter that killed Marjorie, that killed all those innocents, literally full circle, karma killed her, and that was the best way she could have gone out. I loved the way they did that. I don't know. A lot of people didn't like it. Uh, I loved it. I was here for it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I finished my look. Anyways, but I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. I think I said everything I wanted to say before I actually before I actually wrap wrap up this video. I wanted to bring up real quick um, season what our um, what I'm expecting for season six, the last episode, the fucking finale of Game of Thrones. I'm expecting <laughs> everything and nothing at the same time. I don't know who's going to live, who's going to die, who's gonna be on the Iron Throne. If there even is an Iron Throne at this point, is it just gonna be? king of the north is john just gonna chill in the north and just rule from there and that'll be like the new king's landing like because like they don't have to worry about those people because they're all dead you know what i mean daenerys killed them all so i guess they could just rule from there and the seven kingdoms could just you know worship from the north but um i'm very excited i'm very nervous i just i'm ready for this episode to come out tomorrow at 7 59 waiting on the hbo app for the show to start. And I'm going to sit there intensely and watch it. And then I'll do another video after the episode's over. I'll do an additional video probably sometime next week. Hopefully it's not so late. It's sooner than later, I'm hoping. And then we'll talk about the season as a whole. And then we'll talk about the whole show and everything I felt from season one to throughout season eight because I haven't really made any Game of Thrones videos except for my part one and i'll leave that in the link in the description below if you haven't seen that but yeah uh you know definitely comment let's talk about the show i can talk about the show all day every day for the rest of my life and i would never run out of things to say so i just love the show it's one of the best shows ever i don't care what anybody says it's great you should go check it out if you've never seen it like it's just perfect but you know uh you can follow me on my social media sites below i will also leave it link in the description uh you can buy my book can't control life you know love the support and then also i'm a little i will leave a link in the description if you want to start watching game of thrones there's an hbo uh hbo now has it so you can I think it's like 15.99 a month just to have the hbo app now there's a bunch of other great shows on there that i kind of want to start watching like big little lies that looks very interesting so maybe i'll start like a review on that as well but uh, yeah, uh, like the video if you liked it, tell your friends, talk about Game of Thrones, tell everybody to watch Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is great, comment, let's talk about Game of Thrones, you guys have a great day though, deuces!